Hey there, my name is Seth Smock and I'm the sales trainer here at ENS Security. And today we're gonna to be taking a deep dive into our new Diamond Series IP speaker. This is meant to display audio of up to 120 decibels, but that's not even the best part. This speaker will actually integrate directly into your Diamond Series NVR and your Diamond Series IP camera to display audio based on the camera. Let's jump into the specs. Now, the first thing that I wanna mention about the specs is that this unit is actually made of aviation aluminum and the mounting bracket is made of stainless steels. It's a very durable, long-lasting unit. And the options to power up the speaker is either with PoE Plus or DC 24 volts, meaning that this unit is actually PoE and can connect directly into your Diamond Series in VR. It also does have a built-in microphone as well for two-way communication. And the max sound on this unit is, like I said earlier, is 120 decibels, which is the same kind of sound as a ambulance. And it does support a variety of network protocols as well, such as TCP, UDP, ARP, SIP, and even OnViv. Just to give you guys a little quick example, is here at our city of industry branch in california we actually have one of these speakers set up with a diamond series ip camera with a intrusion box and as soon as you enter that intrusion box it greets you to our branch welcome to ens security you're going to need to log into the ip speaker just how you would a normal camera through the web interface and there's a bunch of menus on here that we're going to be able to look at, but the main ones are first checking the firmware update to make sure that the system may or may not need another firmware update to the re most recent version. But the main tab we're going to be looking at is the program management tab, where you can see a list of audio files that are preset on the device, as well as upload any custom audio files that you want to add. You can also make some audio adjustments and even test out some of the audio sounds with the IP speaker to get us an idea of what it sounds like. Now we're in the recorder interface and one thing to mention here is that the IP speaker actually does take up an individual channel since you're adding the IP address of the IP speaker to the actual recorder itself. And as long as your recorder is upgraded to the select firmware, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go under network settings and select the new IP speaker option. You're gonna go ahead and select manual add and input the IP address and any of the other required information. After that, you're gonna to wanna to go to the AI menu, go to parameters and select IVS as an option and a go to the channel that you want to go to. For example, us, we're using channel five and you're going to want to set up some type of intrusion or tripwire on the camera itself. Then select the menu that says trigger, go to the option that now pops up says IP speaker. In this setting, you can actually go in here and see all the IP speakers that are active online and go ahead and enable as many IP speakers as you want or disable them. Keep in mind, you can actually go ahead and enable the IP speaker to be on just one camera or have many cameras with just that one IP speaker on it or vice versa. You can actually have one camera with four IP speakers on it or four cameras with just one IP speaker. You can go ahead and do it by enabling or disabling that IP speaker on. Another great option you have as well is using DSS Pro, which you can use various functions such as device registration, voice broadcast, alarm linkage, and real-time calling, and plenty more as well. Now the first scenario I'm gonna give you guys is somewhere where I've seen these a bunch, and that is at car dealerships, where maybe during the day, you know, you have, let's say, four cameras and one of these speakers by, you know, the mechanic area or the front door. And when car, people's cars are done being worked on or maybe uh, they're making an announcement to some employees, they can do it during the day. But at nighttime, they can set up the opposite nighttime schedule for an IVS feature for intrusion. And if somebody enters the car dealership, they're instantly warned. And the siren and the custom audio message that you set up will go ahead and be displayed, warning these people off the location. The next scenario here is a construction site where you have a ton of heavy machinery, large size equipment, a lot of people coming around, and it's 
definitely do to have some hazards going on. Well, what you could do is set up just maybe one, two, or three cameras, but you can have a variety of different speakers, maybe five, six, seven, and letting the employees know during the day, during construction hours that, hey, maybe it's your lunchtime, you know, hey, be careful, we're lowering down this beam, whatever it might be. But during the night, yet again, you guys have a lot of heavy machinery there, a lot of uh, you know tools and equipment that costs a lot of money. And at nighttime, you can set up the speaker and if somebody invades this area, if something's going on, you're gonna get notified. And that person that's coming into that area, well, with the 120 decibels coming at them, I think they're running too. Now, ultimately guys, with a speaker like this, it can really go anywhere where you have one camera, two cameras, or maybe a few speakers, right? This is basically an active deterrent speaker in a way where on some cameras we have those speakers, but this one is a lot louder more efficient and can integrate into multiple different cameras at once. To wrap this video up guys, this Diamond IP speaker is one of those pieces of equipment that can be integrated into any of your Diamond series installations to take it to the next level. Now, go ahead and like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our other social medias, and to get this picked up today, make sure to give your ENF sales rep a call. I can't have you do that. <laughs> I can't, I can't.